This lecture is intended to follow the PowerPoint that was set up for the textbook. Um, I'm going to try not to veer too far off on little tangents as I go from one slide to the next. Um, I do intend to create a separate lecture talking about some more specific topics that I'd like to point out to you for this class. Uh, this PowerPoint will be made available to you on our D2L course content page. Okay, remember that Windows Internet Explorer 7.0 um, Windows Internet Explorer, regardless of which version you're using, is a web browser. It is software that enables you to view the contents of the World Wide Web. I want to remind you that the World Wide Web is not the same thing as the Internet. The Internet is hardware. The computers and the networks that are connected to allow us to communicate with each other, to share information. The World Wide Web is files. It's a collection of files that are shared on the Internet. Okay? So the World Wide Web resides on the Internet. The Internet existed before the World Wide Web. The World Wide Web could not exist without the Internet. Okay? So back to Internet Explorer 7. It connects you to the Internet or it helps you to connect to the Internet to display web pages and to allow you to search for information. You can use Internet Explorer to receive and send emails if you're using Delta College Webmail or Gmail or Yahoo Mail uh, then you're using your web browser to do that. Okay. Web browsers allow you to display website graphics and audio and video files. In fact if you're viewing this lecture online you're probably viewing it through a web browser such as Internet Explorer. Okay, remember that an ISP is a service, it's a service provider. It's a company that provides internet connection through telephone line or a cable or wireless such as satellite. Okay. Somebody has to pay the ISP for that connection. So Delta College pays an ISP for internet connection. So um, when you go to McDonald's or Barnes and Noble or Starbucks and they have free Wi-Fi, um, it's free to you, but it's not free to that company. That company's paying for it. Okay. There's a couple of definitions for a home page as we talked in class. Um, the home page can be the main page of a website the starting page of a website. However, in this PowerPoint and in the textbook, we're going to refer to the home page as that default page that displays every time Internet Explorer is started. That's a page that can be modified by you. We tried to modify it at Delta College in class last week. However, because of the security features, um, we're not allowed to change the default web page on our browser at Delta College. Okay, so what's a web page? Well, a web page is a document on the World Wide Web. It displays as a screen with associated links, possibly hyperlinks, frames, pictures, and other features such as buttons, text boxes, scroll bars. The web page doesn't have to have all of these elements, uh, but it could include any combination of these elements. Now, I will tell you that the web browser can pl display other types of documents besides web pages. It can display just a picture file. It can display a PDF or RTF file. Remember, the RTF file, that rich text format, is what you created with WordPad. Okay? But it can display other types of documents and files besides a web page. A web page is that special file created with HTML, Hypertext Markup Language, not something I expect you to learn from this class, um, but it is that um, language that was developed specifically for writing web pages. Okay. The difference between a web page and a website is that a website is a group of related web pages published to a specific or unique location. 
um, such, a, such as a website, or I'm sorry, we call that as a Uniform Resource Locator, or URL. Remember that that is the formal name for a web address. Okay. Now the URL can be very specific, such as www.delta.edu. That's going to take you to the main website page, or by, by default, the main website page or the home page of the website is going to display. Um, but the website is going to consist of many pages, so each page would be a specific or unique URL. We'll talk about that in a little bit more detail. They'll break down the main URL or the domain name of a website in this PowerPoint, but in a separate video lecture, I'm going to break it down a little bit more for you. Okay, some elements of a web page using Internet Explorer 7.0. Um, this picture, again, in my book is page 6, but in class, some of you mentioned that it is not page 6 of your book. So, roughly right around page 6 or 7 or 8, you should see a picture similar to this. I think the graphics are going to be a little bit different, but it's similar. The things that I want you to notice, and I'm not going to go through all of them, are these elements, categories, tabs, title bar, address bar, status bar, so on. This graphic only points out some of the elements that you can find in an Internet Explorer web page browser window. And I'm going to tell you that it might look different for you at home than it does at Delta College. Because your browser can be customized. You can have buttons and toolbars display that do not display by default. And again, I'm going to provide a second separate online video lecture that's going to demonstrate some of those customizable features. But familiar, familiarize yourself with these features uh, based on the graphic in your book. Okay. Again, the default home page um, in Microsoft Internet Explorer is automatically set as a Microsoft website because Internet Explorer is a Microsoft program. Now, Delta College has theirs set up as Delta College being the default home page. Except we got to be careful about that word default. The home page at Delta College is set up to be the Delta College website, but the default is going to be a Microsoft site. Now, you can customize yours at home. Again, I'm, I'm going to try to show you how to do that in a subsequent video. Okay. Now, these home pages, these default home pages for Internet Explorer, might be MSN um, or MS Live. Um, or Bing is a new search engine uh, owned by Microsoft. So depending on what version of Internet Explorer you have, your default homepage could be one of those, or it might be something different.